Afrika na watu wake ibariki Afrika ibariki Afrika The richest 15% of the world's population consumed 91% of all medicines. Just not good enough. And that's why you are so important. Of knowledge we are now getting, which is not available in, uh, like in Kenya. And nowadays, every year, there are at least a few billion US dollars that are available to purchase essential medicines for distribution. But that doesn't really solve all of the problem. It, it doesn't make enough drugs available and almost all of that money is going to India, China, or to large pharmaceutical companies. Can Africa sell medicines to the rest of the world? And money can come in rather than flowing out. And so I'm, I'm here because it's my dream is pretty much the same as your dream. We're all working together. And I think this team, as Bern said, we have the tools within this group to bring sustainable medicines. And we'll do it. In Kenya, we'll do it in Tanzania, and we'll do it in Congo. So we are getting more knowledge which we can impart to our students and to the uh, general society. And they put this solution in, and they pull it out and do an analysis of it. That we have every reason to believe that we will be bioequivalent. So you're going to write a cleaning validation protocol for a wet granulator because we are in different companies. So the other guys, they're giving some uh, points in discussion which are very quiet. So we are learning from each other. What she's doing now. Anybody else have anything on calculations? What do you not like about the course? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but I learned from my experience that with programs like we do in this institution, you can reach much more people. We are saving 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 lives per year.